Storm Tracker 9 weather with Chief Meteorologist Justin Stapleton. Another dry day today, two in a row this time of year. Certainly nice to see, but the clouds are starting to move back in, and that is a uh, sort of a precursor of what will be coming over the weekend forecast. Plenty of clouds, but plenty lots more coming with that as well. Wind and rain. In fact, we've got high wind watches out. I'll give you the details on that in just a second. Right now, storm tracker pretty quiet, though, from Seattle all the way down towards Medford as you go up and down the I-5. Not seeing more than just the clouds kind of moving their way through. And this actually uh, coming in from the south here is from that upper level, though, that cut itself off midweek. It has been hanging off of the California coastline. That will come into play a little later into the forecast by tomorrow as well. So here's what we've got. High wind watches along the central and north coast. They go from tomorrow night all the way through Saturday morning around 10 o'clock, which is when we expect the front to move through. Could see uh, south winds gusting over 60 miles an hour. And that, again, that's out towards the beaches and the jetties and whatnot. Peak winds probably between 6 and 10 a.m. just before the front itself arrives. And then we'll start to see those relax just a bit. It's going to stay fairly breezy most of the day. 49 in Blue River right now. We're sitting in the mid-40s to upper 40s as you get into the uh, valley here. 54 down in Roseburg, 46 in Newport, 50 in Florence. Low 50s out towards North Bend and uh, Storm Tracker sweeping on through at around 40 in Bend for this hour. All right, overnight tonight, we'll keep the fog in the valley for sure. I don't think we'll see a whole lot along the coast because the winds will stay up. They'll start increasing late tonight. Not much, but tomorrow is when we'll really see the rain and the showers start to pick up. A fairly looking, good looking, soggy forecast for both Saturday morning and Sunday, although Saturday night into Sunday, we're talking a little more widespread scattered showers. And then next week, we got about five or six systems all blasting into us. So if you're headed out to the game, Tailgating is going to probably be wet. We'll see some scattered showers with some breaks within that as well. Temperatures around 47 for kickoff, probably about 520 or so. So Friday night, we see the lows start to get a little closer, and all these little bands will start moving in from the south. As we go to Saturday and Sunday, that's when this very strong cold front moves through, bringing the rain and the wind, and it's got a lot of push with the jet stream behind it. See how it's kind of carving that out back there? That's what I expect to uh, really kind of blast on through by Saturday morning. So as we go afternoon into tomorrow, evening the light scattered shower starting to move through the umpqua that will move through overnight there's our front by the morning kind of slamming its way in and at least we'll be moving through quickly but it is going to be a pretty good soaker we could see a half an inch to three quarters uh, probably by about lunchtime or so on Saturday and then it just unlocks the door to a very wet forecast so breezy tomorrow along the coast downright windy as we head towards Saturday morning and Sunday another strong wind maker coming through Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, good soakers. Three or four systems all coming at us, and it's likely going to stay wet all the way through about next Thursday. Evening shower, we'll call them afternoon evening showers for the Umpqua. 57 tomorrow, tad cooler. Sunday, the only day we could get some breaks within that, and then it is wet, wet, wet by next week. In the Cascades, mostly cloudy but dry. Snow lines are going to drop down to around 3,500 feet Sunday. We'll be picking up a lot of snow, especially up at around 7,000 feet. Bend and Redmond, partly sunny around 50 tomorrow. And then we'll see a mix of some rain and snow at times through the weekend. And here in the valley, isolated evening showers tomorrow. Wet on Saturday, few breaks on Sunday. And then Monday, to start next week, it is going to be a pretty good soaker coming, guys. So try and enjoy the little breaks that we might have tomorrow, because after that, it's over. Yeah, it's going to get wet, windy, and a little wild out there. Thanks, Justin. You got it.